Hello friends, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome in. My name is Ray. It's job day today, but here we are first in our latest office. Which for those that don't know, I now move the office instead of selling the, yeah, selling the house every time because I got sick of forgetting to hit record when I was doing the walkthrough. At least this way, if I forget to hit record, I can just start again. <laughs> and I don't have to worry about losing my work. Uh, the entire reason why. I have made one little change. I've just added in a food bowl. That's it. I must remember to add one of those in every time. I've yet to see if he will sleep on a chair or a bed or something. Probably would. This door is still being a pain. It's fine. Let's 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 go do a job. Jobs. We're doing a pets one today. I don't know if this is the last one, but we shall find Yum. out. Saving the life of his kitty Oakley was a turning point in Alan's life. He decided it's never too late to start a career and he enrolled in a veterinary school shortly after his 32nd birthday. Now an experienced vet, he's planning to move to Cozy Village with his family to help his old pal Morgan. He even found the perfect place to open a home clinic. After some necessary adjustments, of course. Let's go. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like I shouldn't have left it to the last minute before I do this job. Might be a late episode, people. Yo. I heard the news, and I'm all in for the idea of Morgan's pet care. The house is more than enough for a family with a cat. So I count on you to prepare a separate space for my home clinic. The first floor seems to be perfect for that. That's why I will need some basic equipment in there. I'll bring the specialized instruments with me later on. I have no clue what to do with the rest of the rooms, though my wife made a to-do list, so you should be fine. I'm sure it will turn out nicely. Good luck. Okay, so got these trash bags up there. I thought I wasn't gonna need to do all of it. I do need to remove the weeds. Do that later. I just broke into a house. Okay, so we have stuff to sell. More than likely just start along here and do this, 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 this. Hey, look. <laughs> that, that, and the radiator, and the system for it. Alright, then we just gotta put some things in all over here and quite possibly. I think it's a door. Oh, yeah. That's downstairs to deal with. Got some cat stuff to buy for here. Casually walk through our house, it's fine. This is a bedroom. Ooh, this is nice. Huh. An ensuite. Oh, hello. That's pretty cool. That's this floor. Oh uh, yeah, see trash. Ooh, oh, hi. It's a good clean. See, there were trash bags. I knew it. Always start a house flipper job with gloves on. Mouse feels touchy today. This is not. 
great big something going in there. The door. Okay. Well then, I think I might start here and make my way down. And I will see you after pulling up weeds, I guess. Thank you. 
Right, it's done. Last weeds have been removed. I have kicked the cat off my lap because, oh my goodness, my leg went numb. It hurt. It hurt so badly. Okay, so you enter in to the little waiting room, which leads into the grooming parlor, I guess, with the little doggy area and the cats and come here, you. You want to be a thumbnail? You won't be, but. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, uh, bathroom thing. I love this wallpaper. It works with this house so well. Uh, garage area, pretty basic, nice and simple. Let's go upstairs. Put the cat tree here because I know my cats like sitting on cat trees and looking out the window. Uh, litter box under the stairs, food bowl over there, we have this amazing aviary, yes aviary that's what we're looking for, I was going to say apiary but apiary is for bees, so I think that's awesome and it's got a nice fit I didn't have to try and squeeze it in out here we've got a couple of nice places to sit so you can sit and chill and sit and chill little plants around the edges and i am rather pleased with how i got those lights spaced out we have a bathroom i tried to make it so that not all the plumbing was on one wall because you don't want to be the one who has the plumbing on their wall ask me how i know Bedroom over here, we have the blue room, the hamster cage, little bits and pieces. I went for cedar as the colour, so all the wood contrast. And in here we have the brown room. Not bad. It's nice, it's classic, it's an easy sell in the future. I like colour now. I really have since starting to play this game. If I ever look back at some of the stuff I used to do, the fact that I was terrified of colour. I love it now. Sign me up. Right, that's all that. Not a bad little job. It's gonna be a nice house to flip later. Oh, you wanna come out, but. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah. We could do a lot with it. I like the idea of having all the vet stuff downstairs. Yes, I didn't bother mowing, I just literally picked the weeds. So that's that. That's pretty cool. I'm happy with that one. Let's go. You get one view of the, the garage. Right, so that's that one. Next, next flip. I had too many words racing through my head right, right there. It's like, do I do next flip? Do I do next house? Or do I do next episode? Do I do next Tuesday? I don't know. Next flip, which is Tuesday, which is the next episode, which is all of the things I wanted to say. We will be doing the one to flip, which is Monica and Rachel's house from Friends. I don't know what I want to do with it. I wonder if we take the suggestion of doing a rustic house. Like a rustic apartment in the middle of New York? Why not? Who says you can't do that? Yeah, 
you know what, let's do it. Let's, you know, rustic house in the middle of New York. That's our theme for next week. <laughs> I will see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what we should do with this house once we do buy it. Any suggestions? I do keep track of them all. Don't forget, smack that like button. It really helps. It helps for free, which is even better. What the heck keeps clicking? And if you are new here and haven't subscribed and have enjoyed what you have watched, which I really hope you have, please smack that subscribe button. If you really want to know every time I do upload, that little bell button will help you out as well. And to be honest, I very rarely use that little bell button for anything. I check my subscriptions tab and shove it onto watch later. That's how I manage my YouTube watching, watching time. It's all on watch later. And it sits when it builds up until I'm like, oh my goodness, it's like 35 videos long. Please don't shut me and watch later. Watch me now. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye.